Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Rocker911 and today I'll be showing you guys how to use a USB controller with Steam Big Picture. Now I did a tutorial a couple years ago actually, um, but everyone's asking me to do an updated version and uh, I thought, yeah sure, uh, why not. So I'm actually on my gaming PC right now, you can check, um, you can check the videos out I've made for that. I'll be uh, posting. I'll be uh, tagging it in the video right now and also um, you can also check the other video um, I'll be putting a link right now as well um, in that video there's lots of comments uh, obviously there's too many comments now I can't actually uh, I don't have time to actually go through and uh, comment on each one but obviously there's lots of people there and uh, they can help you out as well um, even uh, on this video you can comment below and uh, like I could see it better because uh, there's not that many and it's a new video so um, yeah if you have any comments or questions be sure to leave it below and let's get started alright so uh, in, in order to connect your PS4 controller really it's pretty simple it's just like connecting it to your PS4 all you need is a USB uh, cable and uh, you're set to go now that you have um, your USB controller successfully connected, uh, let's go ahead and open up Steam. Okay, so uh, once you're in Steam, you're going to go and press this little controller icon up here at, on the top right hand corner. It's, it's like a little uh, controller basically, and uh, that's basically going to take you into big picture mode. So once you're in big picture mode, it's going to have this little uh, startup. But anyways, uh, so now we're inside. Uh, you guys can see that the controller is already working. Um, obviously, uh, big picture controller mode has come a long way since the first video I made where you actually had to set it up yourself and all that. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys something. So in the settings up here, uh, you can go and... Actually, I'm using the controller right now. You can see uh, at the bottom there, it shows the A and B buttons. Uh, obviously for Xbox, but you know. Um, so yeah, once you're in the settings, you can go to this uh, configurations and I'm sorry, uh, add and test. And you see here it says detected PS4 controller. So what you can do is if you ever want to uh, maybe customize your settings, you can go in here and do whatever you want with uh, every single button and uh, trigger. So in case you guys are using a PS4 controller, I've also made a wireless tutorial. Um, now I said, as you guys can see, uh, uh, obviously these are Xbox buttons it shows down there. But some games such as, for example, um, Rocket League or Far Cry, they actually change the buttons. So uh, for example, in Rocket League, I know you can press the share button and it saves your uh, it saves your uh, game and it even puts a little marker there where you press save so that helps a lot but yeah um so yeah i've also made a wireless uh con ps4 controller setup video uh i'll be putting the link up to that right now uh, you guys can watch that it really helps um sometimes when i just want to play rocket league it helps to just sit back and uh, not worry about any usbs getting in the way but anyways that's about it guys uh thank you for watching be sure to uh, write down any comments um, below if you need help and uh, just leave a like if this helped you. Alright, 